This is the third part of the hoist assembly. In this part, we're going to show how do we adjust orientation of the hook, plate, and pulley so as they are aligned with the cotton system as the these reference plane shows. So we do the uh, pulley first. So we select the pulley, right click, and show high reference planes. Okay. You can see the reference plane are there. So we use the plane line line this plane at that plane okay let me go select really hide okay and do the same for the plate we did the pulley we do the same for the plate Plane align. Right. You can see the hook is upside down now. So in order to uh, to make sure this is the right position, select this one. Uh, that is the shape. Uh, flip. Okay. You can see it's not right now. The next is to adjust the hook. If we adjust the hook, we hide the plane of the plate. Hook, right click, you see these reference planes. Option, checkbox, tick. And this time we align, plane align, the vertical one. Again, it's upside down. That's like that's relationship. Flip. Now they are all aligned properly. If you got the first time right, you don't have to do the flip. Click, right click, component, hide the reference plane. As you can see at the moment, this pulley is not right in the reference system. So it's slightly toward to the left hand side. This is because uh, when you calculate the, uh, the thickness of the washer and, and the pulley and other washer, uh, there should be a gap between the washer and the pulley. So as we can and push this uh, pulley right in the middle of the uh, system. Since the washer has been given you with a different dimension, Therefore, you have to actually measure the thickness of the washer and calculate the gap. The gap or the distance between the washer and the plate is adjusted based on the distance between two plates and thickness of the pulley. Distance between the two plates is controlled by this brushing, which is 20 millimeter. To adjust the gap between the washer and the plate, what you need to do is to find the washer right, and there's a make it the really shape. For example, you want to adjust this distance to 0 0.5. Then you will see the, the gap. Create, create it. So by doing this, uh, you can push this 
fully into the middle of this shaft. All right. This is how to actually adjust the gap between these. So a proper assembly need to have this pretty right sits right in the middle of this shaft. The hook sits in the right in the middle of this bolt. And uh, if necessary, there will be a gap between the washer and the plate this side and a gap between the washer and the plate on this side. You need to actually work out the dimension yourself. The next of this video is to show you how do we actually put the cable on. So we double click, we have the cable in, right click and uh, show the reference supply of the cable. Okay. Since cable is sits against the pulley, so this time we hide the reference plane and show the reference plane of the pulley. Then we can actually use plane a line to line the plane of the uh, between the cable and the uh, Fully. If appears upside down, so we use the same way. Find the uh, flip. Okay, now it's in the right direction. And reuse this planar line to line the, these two. And that one, because this one, you can see cable is in the middle of the groove of the pulley. That's it for this third part of the video.